it. Because like if you're doing fame out tank jungle, how would you just do damage is the question. Because you're all about like doing burst damage, but tank is very opposite of that. So I don't know how that works in that instance, but a more tank serious in my head works out because you're kind of a sustained fire. You're someone that wants to engage a lot, I would say. So I'm gonna just run the tank um build right here. So actually uh because like here's the thing i'm kind of contemplating if i want to go assassin's quest because assassin's quest i want to do the i want to want to do a tank build on sailors but i'm kind of thinking about doing assassin's quest because that's what you do on sailors you go overload first but you go assassin's quest so i kind of want to actually try assassin's quest this game i'm not going to assassin um Serious. I'm still doing like the overload um shenanigans. That's my favorite way to build him. But I'm gonna think I'm gonna do go for a little bit more damage. So I'll go for probably all this because I don't think you can do next on this tank build. But all this for the movement speed and 10% increased movement speed sounds really good. If I want to chase down people hearts, always try to get out of sticky shit situations. And the matchup against Steel is not that bad, just because we can really just bully the Steel out of lane. It's quite easy to do so, um, for the most part. So I think we just probably won't kill the Steel as easily as other matchups, but um, Steel is not going to really do as much in this lane if we play this fight. Dodge that. He just missed his on B again. I don't have anything for that. He did bully the steel out a little bit, so my steel should be going for an invade. If you're gonna like drop um gank the off lane and i have to lane push up like this it's actually a good time for to go for the invade because i have fire if she wants to go for it mm. he's not doing that though oh the boss met up oh yeah i'll just do a free fuck right there Actually, I should go for a war by now on the three camps. Let's do that. Ah, uh, the pass to save him right there. Me back off. I'm only concerned about a gank by like mid lane, for example. There we go. Yeah, I think he just literally should just keep going back to T2. Not sure what he was doing right there. But a kill is a kill, so I'm not complaining. It. I don't know why I didn't get that cannon there like I wanted to. I push out a little bit slower than I like, but honestly, he's missing minions when he's just doing that, so 
He's wasting time just a little bit. Okay. Nice. Um, on that honestly, like that build, I think it can work out fine. Just because if you can do like bone saw skies, but with great effectiveness, you can probably do carry um items on Ceres. I'm just going for the most traditional build, oh just God. minus. I'm trying different quests this with this one. See how it feels. I'm also gonna try and see if we can let this wave push up just so I can farm a little bit easier. Actually, it's not pushing it's not pushing towards me anymore, so I might as well clear this out. Because I have a passive where I can just gain all this back, no problem. Yeah, there's no way he just can do anything like this. Like, I don't know why he dies like that. I think I just win that so easily. Because he has Brimstone. If you have Brimstone, maybe he can make me steal his gear, but he doesn't. So he doesn't have the damage to really do anything. It's just kind of just how you want to do Sarah's jungle. You just keep. I'm oh, not Sarah's jungle, Sarah's offline. You just look to keep. Willing down your opponent slowly but surely um, with your spear, let your passive keep healing you back up. So you just sustain through lane really well and have some very annoying poke that they can't really contest you as much on. I kind of like the idea of Assassin's Quest because if we go to Titan's Quest, then I think it hurts our damage quite a bit where our early game damage won't be nearly as good. But since we're going to Assassin's Quest, we, it kind of balances it out to where we still we very much still have the early game threat, but we're going more tank bruiser still as the game goes on. I kind of like the idea of going Assassin's Quest first, instead of like the normal, um, what do you call? Titan's Quest. He does now have Brimstone, so he's got to be a little bit careful of his, some of his damage he can bring out. And he has a big wave, so we have we can't really fight him under it. Yeah, not even close. Going for a deep wood. Okay, that was a little weird. Everyone's fine on the bank tooth, I would say. Okay, wave is shoving. I want to see if I can get this tier buff and try to see if we can take it before the tier comes over. Which I think we have enough DPS to take it, so nice. So, what? Honestly, doing really good on the CS. Like, I think we're gonna really just start to like outscale really fast. 
So when we do eventually rotate to these fights, I think to as many prime like said, but we should be really much stronger than the steel, I would say. Steel is always gonna be good because he had the CC, but he's not gonna be like as durable or Okay. I like how you just stand there briefly because he know like that would look really bad. He know that would look really bad. Well, definitely we're gonna be on a nice back right here with um overload that's gonna help us do more damage and have actually stronger clears than all we have right now nice so let's get overload. I think we're gonna be just going for bone saw second. Cause I wanna get the extra durability to scale with my um what do you call? I actually going I don't know if we do enough burst damage for next, but Ah screw it. I I love next. When I did next on on what do you call it, the whole like assassin series, it felt really fun. And so I kind of want to run that again. Because even though there's a quote-unquote tank build, I think we can still get a decent amount of next stacks going. Plus that extra mobility can catch people off and help us finish people off is the big thing too. So I kind of want to go next. Let's, let's give it a go. Wish Sarah's. I should be stronger than the Sarah's then if she's going that item. Uh, I'm looking at mid. So she has ultimate. I have to use blink. Nice. And by the way, like the damage felt seemed a little lackluster best because this is a scaling build with overload. As soon as we hit two or three items, our damage becomes really really good. So like especially with bone saw, skies the like I think by third item that's when you start to really crank out the damage. That's one thing I had to realize is when you go this overload builds on Sarah, it's it's definitely gonna be a scaling scaling build. But it's it's nice that Sarah Sarah um, still has a very good um, early game no matter what because of his kit fundamentally. So it offsets that. So you have a comfortable early game and you have a, a build that just scales late game. Hey, what's up, Jiggy? How you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome um, to the channel. Just doing some Sarah's offlane. Still one of my most favorite um, offlaners for the most part. Yeah, he's really shunk. And because he's backing right there, we could maybe get this tower. We have 5 minions. We do a lot of basic attack damage, so it's gonna be close. It's Yeah, I think it's enough. Nice. That's huge. Gain a T1 tower for your surely. It's a lot of nice gold that I always like.
Goes back for Bonesaw. And we should, should stop the really slap because the floor is going to help. The, the damage we get for it is really nice. It's just once we get Sky Spell, that's when we really push our sustained damage to the max for this build. Allied tower under attack. I just realized that's a weak to mid lane, by the way. That's pretty spicy, actually. I know some people is, who will do weak to mid lane a lot, but that's only for people that are really, really comfortable with that pick. But you know, it's, it's really not that bad. Because um, mid lane, like when you, if you're a melee mid lane, then of course the mage is always going to keep poking you out. But you have a very nice pass that allows you to just soak up damage. And if you do land the hook in lane, that's a lot of damage to the mage you're doing. So I think it could actually work not too bad, in all honesty. Uh, it's like, oh wait, they're doing faint twos? That's not good. I really wish I knew my team was doing that. But I'm probably not paying attention as well as I could right now too. Strength. Steel's not here yet. I assume he's just at the faint too, so I'm just gonna split push since I, it's just best if I just split push right now. Because I'm too far away to help. Mogus here, so I can't take the blue buff like I wanted to. Zero is zero two. Oh, she went there. Still by herself, by the way. Okay, I mean that's just a kill at the end of the day. Unfortunately, the Richter took that kill, so I didn't get my stack on my passive. Oh, very nice hook though. But no follow up, unfortunately. So honestly, I can keep pushing. I'm no mana, but really not afraid to steal. So I can just keep pushing, keep farming as best I can before I back. Now I reset. Nice. It's getting pretty nice here, I have to say. So let's grab this. And maybe we see if we can start to roam a little bit more. Because we lost both Fane twos, And I kind of want to not give it the one if we can. So who's strong in the team? So just a Morgue, so I think we just focus her and we're fine. How does he yes? I'm always gonna really like Sarah's ult um, on B, just the fact that I can use it to like last hit minions. Which is really good in lanes you can't walk up to minions, but of course it's also good so you um, don't even miss CS as easy even then. The well, this, um, what do you call this deal? It's definitely going full armor against us, which makes sense since you have the one that deals with us all the time. I'm gonna push that because I don't see what enemy are at. I'll still like look to just invade for now. Keep stealing resources.
Someone was just right there. Oh, that was a, almost a very clean right there. Oh, now we can't fight because it's four people right there. Let's keep talking left. If it's four people here, that should be like a left T2 tower down and a faint and a faint juice. We might want to go for faint juice ASAP. So let me push out mid and then we're going to be going and just starting like faint juice immediately after I shove this lane in. Yeah, you see which there is that? We can definitely bust it down unless we have enough bodies to do so. So this is just really good in the sense that we deny um, the enemies the third faint to us for now. So that's very good. I'm gonna go right. And we have Skies further, so as I said, this is where you start to really, really slap people. We already are doing so, but now we're going to do so even more. Destroyed. So at this point, I feel like I'm enough damage, especially since I'm going Assassin's Quest. So I kind of want to go for pure HP defensive stuff. So Raymond could be an angle I'm considering. Wrestlers could be nice, but I think I want more defensive stuff right now. It's just it's just still the Morg is doing a lot of damage, so I wonder I don't think I need a bit of magical defense just for her. That's why I'm just gonna go like a more Wayman. So it's good against physical and magical damage. I'm not gonna join that because I really wanna grab the T2 tower. What's it seem like they're not really engaging as hard anymore? Oh, blue buff, my favorite buff. Ah, oh, we don't take it fast enough, unfortunately. Ah! Yep, next, like I said, it's feeling really nice to finish people off like that. Backing off a little bit because... Oh, dang. Yeah, we have like a hero that's not here at all, so the best you can do is just go for left inhibitor, but she doesn't pa push it fast enough. That's unfortunate. Let me see what we want to cook up next. I don't think I need... Oh. Oh, no, oh no, okay, we'll just, okay, you messed up your ultimate, but that doesn't mean you just die for no reason to the Morgish because it's just like, don't, please don't die. That would be really bad if she dies like that. But, okay. Do we want more damage or more HP? Yeah. Hmm. They don't really don't have that much physical damage, I'm being honest. I think I'm just gonna go more Wayman angle right here. I think that's what I'll do. Then I'll probably think of something like Basilisk Augmentation last item.
And just to double check, um, have you guys been typing that on chat? Because last time I did a stream, the YouTube like live chat wasn't working at all, so I didn't see any messages for like 30 minutes. So people thought I was annoying them. Well, YouTube bugged out and I couldn't see people. Oh, I see a message there of fire oh, nice. Yeah, no, I really still think people are sleeping on Sarah. It's just no one knows how to use him right. People don't know how to use him right, and people don't know how to build him right, is my thing. But this offering feels really good, this build. It's just people don't build this him this way, and I keep telling them that it's really good. Mm, I'm not going on that. You see Mola, you see Mogus coming up, but I'm not taking that bait. She's by herself, by the way. Oh, left is game pushing hard. I'm gonna go push mid with Rick too. My sales is winning against there, so it's actually chilling. Yeah, we go faint. We go faint too, actually. We do faint too. Strength, the jungle is dead. I think we want to do it, right? Just got just start it, right? Yeah, we do enough damage. We're chilling. I mean, this, that's what makes this build really nice too, is because since you have a high sustained damage build, you can help really contribute to like, objective damage like that. I'm gonna be right, right back though, because like, I, I want to like, get Wayman and go defend my real quick. So it's a very nice back for me. I don't, yeah, we can do it. Like, three people are trying to cover waves right now. So we can burn it. We have Primo, so we do a lot of damage, actually. Wait, our jungler's not here. Wait, our jungler's not here, by the way. Our jungler's getting solo. Oh my god, we actually can't do this. I gotta get them off it. This is so troll. Like, we, no, we're back. I'll say, our jungle troll is so hard. She died for no reason, we could've got free prime. Okay, luckily no one threw a build this in, because that was going to be 50-50, and if they get that prime, that's like a game, like, losing strategy right there. Oh no, I... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it still did a lot of damage. Because I used my Q too early. I could I could dash and then stun. But luckily, it pay, it pay off those in. Okay, so she's blaming my Victor when she died to the solo steal as jungle while we're doing prime. She has no authority to be blaming right now. She has no authority, ladies and gents. Let that be known that your surely is putting down the stick on the on um, sales right here. Oh no, what's he, Bugsy? How you doing? Welcome back. Ice cream is always a delicious treat, if I do say so myself. I have to back off because I see he's still hovering and it could be turning into an unfavorable fight for you, surely. And D, I said you shall not speak. Cause like, I don't mind when people chat, it's just when someone made a big mistake and they're flaming other people, I'm just like, bro, you have no authority, you have no reason to be flaming when you just did that X-Play, right? It's always really funny when I see people doing that, right? Wait, why my Kira is getting dove? I'm coming, team.
Oh my god. I messed up my combo. Wait. Wait, I got stuck on the terrain. Oh my god. Okay, I trolled then. I got stuck on terrain right there. I tried to go for the combo, but it just did not land for me right there. For some reason. And then when I tried to get away from Murdoch, I just got stuck. I don't know what that about. That's also unlucky right there. But I just don't know why that fight happened mid when I wasn't there. So a lot of people made mistakes, to say the least, but it's fine. We're still chilling. I mean, honestly, maybe this is a void hell moment. Yeah, I think you're right. No, I don't think I want Foy Helm. I want something with a little bit more kick to magical defense. Yeah, Celestio. Let's do that. Let's do Crystalline. Because I'm gonna get like stacks of magical like really fast from this um, Morgesh. Because honestly, she's the only one that's doing damage right now. So I think it's fine for me to go magic defense at this point. That's also true, but like... Do I want Foy Helm? It's just like, I want something with more actual magical defense. The Foy Helm is more HP stat stick. It doesn't help the magical defense component when going against like the Mogesh. So I think I want to go Crystalline for more pure magical defense. Wait, we're fighting again? I'm not even there. But my team is winning, so... My team is winning, so no complaints right there. I didn't dodge it. It's a battle of the century, guys. Oh my god, literally he lived so long because he had the healing thing and I don't have anti-heal because why feel anti-heal against a team where only the healing person is a nearest Wopu deal, right? Ah, that sucks. Whatever, it's fine. Like, I don't really care about the health. On Crystalline, I care about magical armor for the more guests. Like, for him, like, 60 magical armor, 30, 50 HP. Boy Helm, 450, 40, so it's not that big a difference, but the passive from Crystalline gives me way more armor and the movement speed, so I can chase down the Mogish much easier, and I just get a bunch of free magical armor stacks off of this. That's so fine. Yeah, no, his regen is only strong because, like, you, you see his build, like, he's going unbroken, needs world boots, uh, Boy Helm. Like, I, it's just like, I don't want to be anti-heal just for the steal, right? My focus is just the mortgage, right? So it's just, it's what it is. Because we should not be focusing the steal, we should also be focusing like the back line, and then we can bust him down. Oh, I don't think we should be fighting that. I'm coming in though, just I think I'm gonna be late late to this. Ah, uh, this Mogesh, yeah, she's a coward. Not a coward, she's playing how she should, right? But that's why the crystalline would be nice, because if I have the stacks of movement speed, I can stay onto a really good... It's a big thing, too. Um, let's just do Prime, yeah. Let's get the free Prime while we still can. Honestly, we could force an inhibitor if we really want to, but... Um, I think it's just more it's easier to just do Prime for this team. By the way, I think the you can block the rockets with Q, so if you're taking a lot of damage from that rocket, just bring up your Q to reduce that. I think that's how it works. If I'm, if I'm not one.
All right, just I'm gonna force my team to retreat because we should be five men in this, not three men in this. So it's back. I get crystalline, so now I'm full build. Get strength tonic, and now we are we're doing really good. Okay, I should just honestly just group up. I don't, I don't want to split push when I think I'm probably the best answer to this like Mogish um backline shenanigans. Yep, we're just gonna find men mid. So I also play around the um with the hooks like so. Oh my god. Hmm, this is sort of a bug by the way, because technically my target was the um the steel, but he died. Right? So my costume should have gone down right there. But I think because I ulting him as he died, it still stayed up. So that's quite interesting, but I think that's a bug. Yep, that's all I care about. I just want the W key. Can I W key this too? Ah, uh, the Falcon Saber. Yep, and that is gonna be GG's right there. Ladies and gents. I guess all it, that it took is just me doing my normal pick and it becomes an easy game, right? Which I mean, like, if I really care about winning, then I just play offlane all day. Play Serious, play Fame Out, play Serious, etc. But you know you surely likes to cook, likes to play at the wars, at the champions, do a lot of, like, fun stuff, right? So, every once in a while, though, I didn't find a balance. I think I've been doing a lot of fun builds, but I need to make sure I'm still doing plenty of just normal games because I think, I mean, at the end of my day, my whole goal of this channel is to be down the educational side. And of course, like doing fun builds can help educate in the sense that you can run this build that's a lot of fun. But if I want to show you guys how to play the most um, competitive picks good and how to like carry your games, then I think I need to find a better balance of doing more of these like Normal stuff, I guess you can say, right? But yeah, very good game. Um, definitely there were some critical mistakes that we made here and there, but what matters is how we played the rest of that out, as you guys saw.